Look around. Soak it up. You're standing in a relocated forest. Over a century ago, the silver forest, where trees were burned, were harvested and relocated to paradise, and the logs were used to construct the Paradise Inn. So the question was, how do you compete with subalpine meadows filled with wildflowers, or contend with the awe-inspiring power of an active volcano and its glacial, glacier-covered slopes? This was the question facing builders over a century ago. The simple answer was, you don't. The builders of the Paradise Inn didn't look to compete, but to connect. They built something that complemented the landscape. They used local materials. The foundation and chimneys that you see are made of local stone. The beams and posts are cedar logs. The large windows provide views of the subalpine meadows in bloom and mountain slopes and connect visitors with the landscape. Architecture, as this architectural style has come to be known, is seen in many of America's national parks. Architecture connects us to place and the park. From park to park, it connects us across the American landscape. It connects us to others and provides a common point of reference through which we can celebrate America's greatest idea. The investment in restoring the Paradise Inn is a component of years of targeted investments and plans for future projects to restore paradise and protect and conserve this place for future generations to come and connect. Somebody asked me yesterday, well, why would we spend money on historic structures like this? Why should we spend our tax dollars? And I thought, why wouldn't we spend money on our own American history and the places that we're a part of and the story of us as Americans and how we related to our landscape? And as stated earlier, it's places like Paradise Inn that give us access to the beautiful landscape of the United States that is symbolized by the incredible Mount Rainier or Olympic National Park. People come from all over the world to see these places. So I really got to give kudos to the National Park Service for putting funds into restoring the Paradise Inn. This project demonstrates the importance of and commitment to addressing the large maintenance backlog faced by nearly every park in, across the country. With this project, we remedied more than $5 million in maintenance backlog needs. Some key project components included upgrades to the fire suppression system that are crucial to protecting guests, structural and seismic improvements, and various energy efficiency changes that will, re that will result in cost savings and a reduced environmental footprint. The National Park Service has served the American people for more than a century because of its employees and its network of allies, advisors, and partners. As a matter of fact, our parks and programs were built on partnerships to do just that. One of the things that stands out about this inn and that made this project possible is that the most recent restoration phase leveraged funding from various sources, such as federally appropriated funds, park entrance fees, franchise fees paid by the park concessioner, and partnership donations. So I think that you know, this project, this project alone, is a great example. I think it's an excellent model but for what could be taken across the country to continue to uh, fund and preserve our national parks, you know, our buildings, um, our pathways, our trails, uh, the resources that we have in our national parks and, and support our national parks going forward for uh, many, many more years. We were also very successful in meeting and exceeding some of the project goals here over 90% of our contractors that worked on this job uh, met the goals for being a small business and being a small local business. And then out of those businesses, um, a third of those contractors met goals to be a disadvantaged uh, type firm requirement and or uh, were veteran owned or disabled veteran owned businesses that were up here working on this project. And um, we're very proud of the fact that we're continuing to work with those firms um, and working on them with ex existing projects and future projects as well. Because at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. It's concessioners and the National Park Service working to provide the best possible experience for our visitors coming to these national parks. And when you enjoy the beauty of Mount Rainier, whether you actually climb to the summit 
or hike some of the amazing trails, or walk through the wildflowers at uh, sunrise, or whether you just enjoy sitting on the rocking chairs on the porch at National Park Inn. When you're finished, you deserve the right to come back and have a tasty meal and a comfortable room, and that's what we want to make sure you have. So we're proud to be involved in this great accomplishment, but we look forward to many, many more in the future. Thank you. Oh!